I have a little bit of buyer's remorse, and I don't even have the bike yet. Let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Just wanted to give you an update. The bike purchase has not been finalized, but technically I did purchase the bike because I gave a deposit, but the bike is not actually at the dealership yet. It's due to arrive sometime next week, and when I see the motorcycle right before me and I have a full look over the bike, then I'll cut a check for the bike. Until then, I can actually back out of this deal, and I'm having a little bit of buyer's remorse right now, uh, which is a good time because I can back out any time. But, you know, I, I told you in, in previous videos that I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and share a different experience with you guys. I wanted to get a bike that was different from something that I've had in the past and share that experience with you guys and this particular bike that I chose is unlike any other motorcycle out there there isn't another motorcycle that competes with this that I can consider but with that being said this bike is absolutely sick the deal I got is is probably the sickest deal that you can get probably in the United States at this time. I mean, there's nothing else out there like this deal. And I'll share that deal once I unveil the bike. But it concerns me that there are a small number of problems that people have reported with this particular model that, you know, really concerns me, such as fuel sensor failures, uh, hard starting, a leaky brake and clutch reservoir. Uh, also, some people reported a hub failure. And a lot of people report discomfort on long rides uh, due to the rear shock so you know that concerns me but a lot of people say this uh, from most of the reviews that I've seen on YouTube and a lot of people you know feedback that I get they tell me this bike is absolutely amazing and that I would be stupid for you know passing up on this opportunity and sick deal that I got on this bike so, you know, I it's probably the deal's probably going to go through, but I just wanted to share this with you and and just get your thoughts on it, you know. I know with every single motorcycle out there, you know, there's going to be some problems except I have not experienced any problems with my CBR 1000 RR at all, my 2012. You know, some people complained about oil burning issues. When that first came out in 2008, actually the first three or four years, actually even up to my year, 2012, people still complained about oil burning issues, but I have not experienced that. I have not experienced any problems on my CBR 1000 RR. I love it. That's why I can't get rid of it. And uh, it's just a highly refined bike that's so awesome, a fantastic liter bike for the street. And I'm going to keep it. Like I said, this new bike is going to be a third bike. Uh, but this bike costs way more than the, the, the CBR 1000 RR, so it's going to be the top dog in the garage. Yeah. But anyways, guys, uh, what are your thoughts? You know, should I step out of my comfort zone with this bike? I mean, um, it has it's going to have an ironclad, you know, two-year factory warranty, zero deductible, you know, straight up uh, as with any new motorcycle. So, you know, if any issues arrive, the dealer, I'm sure the dealer will take care of it. But that's, again, that's time I have to spend at the dealer. And I will definitely share that experience with you guys. And, you know, if I don't like this bike after, uh, you know, say owning it for a year or so and I share all the, you know, bad negative experiences with you guys, I can always sell it. And I'm probably not going to lose much money, maybe even gain money because I'm getting such a sick deal. Like, I'll share that deal with you once I unveil this motorcycle. But anyways, guys. Leave a comment below. Tell me your thoughts. I appreciate it. I appreciate your viewership. Thanks for hanging in there with me. And hopefully I'll unveil this motorcycle next Sunday. Hey, if you want to get my gear, uh, my new helmet, my gloves, I got high vis uh, jacket, helmet, gloves, my camo pants, boots, camera gear. I include links in the description and comment section of this video or you can go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my gear and that's current uh, links to all of the gear that I have now or if you want to see more of my videos click on the menu tab my videos 
and those are a bunch of playlists with all of my thousand plus videos categorized into those various playlists and uh, hopefully we can find something that will inform you, entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. It really helps my channel and it helps, it helps me get motivated to do more videos. So I'd appreciate that you hit the thumbs up. And uh, hey, subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel. I wish you guys all the best out there. But hey, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Hey, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel that features the original Bug Out Moto Van that is designed and built by yours truly so that I can live in my van with my motorcycle. So hey, check me out at youtube.com forward slash Bug Out Moto. Subscribe today. <laughs>